Wednesday's session began with interventions by Jane Commission members and legal counsel Mary Samba on a recent order which concerns her client, Gambian businessman Amadou Samba. Commissioners, including Ami Bensuda, then questioned the Gambian business mogul on issues concerning his business activities. Mr. Mr. Samba, I believe you said you're a businessman. I'm a businessman. How long have you known the ex-president Yaya Jami? Since 1994. How did you come to know him? I came to know him through Per Kujabi, a Senegalese architect. Samba also shed light on his business dealings, particularly those involving former President Yahya Jame. Um, instructions were given from the Ministry of Finance on the directives of the, of the President for the sum of 700000 to be paid to Gamvej Oil Limited. Um, and it was paid from the MDRI HIPC account. And this is the, what, we, uh, what is referred to as the HIPIC fund. So I would like you no. to explain. This whole thing, this whole thing about the president's involvement in Gamveg, was, I was not part of the negotiation. I didn't know anything about it until after the fact. It was, I think, Mohamed Bazi and Pa Bojang and the president then negotiated for the sale of Gamvej. Having been a 50% shareholder of Gamvej, Amadou Samba was also asked to update the commission regarding the assets of the company in question. Aside from this, the witness was also questioned on his involvement with Gam Petroleum and Euro African Group. Meanwhile, Mr. Samba, who will reappear before the Commission of Enquiry, is demanded to furnish the Commission with documents such as the title deed of the land house in Gamveg and other business documents. Modu Bajan reporting for GRTS News.